Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Okami HD episode 28! I'm your host, Old Director Jester. Well, uh, we're here at North Hiroshima Coast and the first place we want to go is right over here to this shining spot. Yeah, we're here at night because, well, we kind of have to be. Actually, right here is something special. Stray Beat 60 right off the bat. Ain't that just something. We're gonna make our way over here. This is the broken stairs that we couldn't fix before. We're gonna go slightly left of it to where this clover is to help you where it actually is. And now we have a cat called Tower that we can go up, as well as some cats to feed. Haven't even started yet, already done so much. The, cam the camera even zooms out nicely enough for us so we can just draw that straight line and head on up. Using our catwalk technique, of course. There's another chest right up here. And that gives us a dog statue. One of the 13 Zodiac treasures. Man, once we see a merchant, we're going to get a lot of cash. But first, we need to deal with this guy. This is a blue Cyclops. He's, uh, kind of annoying to deal with. A little bit. Really hard to kind of attack in this form. Well, heh, not exactly. You just gotta wait until he gets down to the ground and then you just beat him like an idiot. His floor finisher is a uh, power we don't have yet. It's called Deluge. But he's wailing with the rosary and he should go down without any problem at all. Someone is here! Yes, I am someone! Is that so? I don't see it either, but where could it be? Yeah. You look for shooting stars, huh? Well, I do kind of have that power, so you know what? I'll go ahead and indulge in you, but, you know, I say, why ask for just one shooting star? One, one star is one wish, right? Well, what if you can get three wishes? Or even five? Or even... God, you could put as many as you wanted in the skill. You could have unlimited wishes! With my powers, I can help you do anything, man! Fly! Well, you only saw one. There was like 12 there, dude. You've got several others you can use, dude. I mean, you... He doesn't know that the sun... the sun goddess is right beside him. And he could have wished for anything in the world, anything at all, with all those stars, but he only... Only saw one so he could see this galaxy over here, this whirlpool galaxy. Ooh, that's actually kind of nice. Let's go check it out. It's kind of cool that you just made a galaxy appear right before our eyes. I'm pretty sure this is going to have some cosmological issues later on down the road. But let's not worry about it. Yeah, well, I even worry about, you know, any sort of forces of gravity that might affect the Earth, or, you know, just anything that could happen in the forces of space. Nothing can happen. This is supernova appearing right in front of us. Hmm. 
Whirlpool Galaxy can lead to a whirlpool that leads to the Dragon Palace. Hmm. The wind's blowing a little bit. Maybe we should... I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. Okay, this is really going to cause some damage later on. All these stars coming around in a vortex, you know, there's no way this could get any worse. Um, is anybody else seeing this? Anybody else in Nippon seeing this? They freak out when a white arrow gets thrown into someone's house, but, you know, the stars swirling around like this and some kind of chaotic tornado of stardust and the cosmos and... No one's concerned about that? Well, now we've got the place open. The only thing to do now is go find Orca. Orca should be right where he normally is, right beside Orishima's hut. Well, I guess that it didn't do a whole lot of damage to the surrounding countryside. I mean, we only made everything spin and cause chaos in the cosmos, but I think everything's alright. We got our entrance to the Dragon Palace now, so let's have Orca take us there. A strange episode so far, wouldn't you say? I mean, we got a stray beat off the bat, we got the water dragon here. Excuse me, bro. Let's make it through here. Okay. Uh, we got uh, irreplaceable damage to the cosmos. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's been a crazy day and it's about to get a little crazier because now we're about to enter a giant whirlpool to go to a palace below the sea where apparently we're going to solve all the world's problems. Another one of my favorite places in Okami, the Dragon Palace. I just love how everything is so environmental here. I don't know how we're quite breathing right now. Maybe it's some kind of special spell with the whirlpool or whatnot, but... I love this palace. I love the music that plays. It, it, everything just feels so nice, and there's treasure freaking everywhere. Already out here, we got a whole bunch of stuff to get. similar to Sasa Sanctuary, wouldn't you say? In terms of design. The inside's kind of the same, too. A little, uh, rude today, aren't you, soon? See you soon. Jumping and screaming will get you nowhere. You just gotta go with the flow, man. Well, now we're inside the... the water palace. Dragon palace. Great. There's a few things to do here before we talk to Otohime. First thing, we're gonna check up behind the stairs here for a bomb door. Make a cherry bomb. 
Boom. And secret hole. Leading to a sacred spring or whatever you want to call these things. It's got it's got everything here. It's got trees. We can get some praise there. Make it look extra nice. We got boars here. Tons of freaking boars. It also drops these trees. Also drops oranges that add to your yen a little bit if your astral pouch is full. Feed these guys some seeds. Or just one of them. That's fine. I get you 45 praise. That's like one of the most you can get from animals. That's crazy. But, oh, what else is here? Uh, we got a we got a clover right here. We got a train in the background. Sorry about that. We got a clover over here behind this. Yep. Another clover right here. Chest number one containing tiny pottery and a treasure, I believe. Uh, we got a godly charm that helps with our godhood. The tactic we haven't really had to use much. The most important thing here is Stray Beat 70. Alright, now we're ready to talk to Otohime. Uh, yep. And upstairs through this elevator. And here she is. Well, that's just fantastic. Water Lord, not the Water Lord, the uh, Water Dragon is now insane and crazy and can't be controlled. The only way to control it is to go into Oni Island. Well, we can't go into Oni Island because we need the Water Dragon to. to... If it ain't one thing, it's another. Yeah. 
talking to her again advances the story. Why don't you tell us? No oh, shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk to you, I meant to talk to her. We gotta enter into somebody else's body now? Well, uh, sure. We've done worse than go inside dragons before, man. If we went inside a nasty emperor's stinky, bad breath body, we can handle a water dragon, no problem. Just send you on your way. And just okay. Well, go and go in the, in the garden. You might get eaten. You might die. Because none of us have ever made it out of there alive. But you know, good luck. Oh, uh, before we do that, I want to do one more thing in the palace. If you look at the map, he doesn't really follow you inside, but. Through here is the Water Dragon's Garden. We're not going there, we are going down here. So from the entrance, we are going right. Let me through. And so because I have the Shell Amulet, I can go through here now. I don't, I don't need to know anything, just let me get to digging. Now, tell me what the problem is. Look before you leap! <sighs> Another fucking digging game. Yeah, I'd say so. No, no need, I got it. So here we have yet another freaking digging game. This one's a little different. This time we start from the bottom and we need to make our way up top. So... Let's do just that. We have a lot of time, but not as much time as you may think. Just gotta be careful and... Kind of work with these wonky controls a little bit. Make sure you don't end up the wrong way. There's no way to destroy these sand blocks from below, so you can tell that obviously 
the right path is the way to go first. The right most, uh, slashable block. Uh-oh. Okay, I fucked myself on that one. Hmm. You know, that might be another really ridiculous way of doing it. Once again, a seemingly difficult puzzle is given a seemingly simple answer. And I'm too... too dumb to see. I don't believe that you need to do the whole switching back and forth at all. I think I've been doing it all wrong. We're making progress now. I think you just... You can just put the bomb inside of the block and it'll be alright. I think. Sorry, this recording is such a flood, everybody. Ah. Oh, man. Come on. God damn you. Get up the hair, Hammy. Work with me, girl. Oh, shit! Come on! Get up there! There. Nice and done. Shit! Amy, we don't have time for this bullshit! There. Sheesh. Fucking sheesh. There. Alright, now I think I can just put a bomb like right here. Ha! Once you know you can do that, this puzzle becomes so much easier. And here's our friend, ready to be taken downward. Let's go! Still dig when you don't have any ink, so this is a good time to recharge. So by the time you get down here, quickly, 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 god damn oh you stupid stupid thing. I'm gonna take back that ten seconds you stole from me and get ten seconds more. Again. Slash here. Down there. Wait until she faces right, and then Gale Storm. You did quickly! I'm gonna dig first. I didn't get my money. Slash. I think we're finally starting to reach familiar territory now. Yeah, looking good. Still got two whole minutes. Not a minute to lose. Yeah, I think we're getting close. Alright, same ordeal here. Until she faces left. And blow! Do you have the right spot? She shouldn't fall into any others, and then down here, and now we got a whole minute 30 left for her to find the spring. We're in a hurry, so keep going. Haha, <laughs> alright. Shit! Hate digging mini games. It takes way too long. So it is. Hmm. I suppose it is strange, isn't it? Should be working here. Well, hey, because we did five digging mini games, you got the digging achievements, so that's something, right? So 
not exactly an easy one to get. I'm gonna hop on these drums here, but uh, go ahead and regenerate this one. Or rejuvenate. Rejuvenate, regenerate. It's kind of the same thing. I don't know, we couldn't fix those stairs in North Hiroshima Coast, but... <laughs> well, Hammy does what she wants. But up here, this gives us straight beat 71. Now to solve your spring problem... She's big bone. I gotta give her credit. She does run quite fast. Uh, I don't get it. What do I do? That. Fuck! Ha! Whoa! Nuragami. Possibly be. We have one more stray bead to get in this episode. Yep, there is no longer any need to use mermaid coins anymore. It's all taken care of. But inside this chest, we have. that's, uh. Traveler's Guide, but. Very important for the Platinum, though. Fountain is one of the first uh, techniques where uh, it's an enhancement of a brush technique we already have. It's pretty much just another technique. They don't really have as much of a primary uses as much of the other ones, but they are very nice to have, and, well, we're still gonna find them all anyway. They're hidden all over, but we can now leave here and head right on over to the Water Dragon Garden. Ugh, <sighs> so much to do. So much left. Show off our, uh, shell amulet. And then we go. Yeah, I'll just let you go through, no big deal. What's the worst that could happen, right? Ugh. Inside this hole... ...is the water dragon. Yeah, he's a mouth breather. Well, we kind of are. And before we jump in, something we gotta do first. There's clams all around here containing a lot of stuff. Clams always contain stuff. We got glass beads. We got oh, what's over here? We got friggin' infinity stone. That's that's always good to have, I'd say. I think we'll need it in the next episode. And up here we have stray bead seventy-two. And now we've taken care of everything we need to take care of at the Water Palace, except for this Water Dragon, which we will take care of next time on Let's Play Okami HD. Huh.